I'm interviewing here Max Levchin, who among other things is co-founder of PayPal. Um, and I'm going to ask Max uh, a very simple question. What's the difference between starting a company and scaling up a company? Um, starting a company is all about figuring out what small details don't matter because you just got to figure out if the core idea works, that it gets to escape velocity, critical mass, whatever you want to call it, and everything else has to wait. And sometimes it really hurts because you're spending money, you're bleeding money, but it's got to wait until you've proven the point. Growing a company is all about taking each one of those details and chiseling away at the lossy parts and making them profitable, figuring out how to scale a team, how to retain a team. All the parts that you told yourself are just gonna, you're gonna deal with later on are now front and center. And it's very hard for a lot of people because you've spent a couple of years telling yourself the exact opposite of what you have to do. So if, if you can answer this question, which would, which would you say is harder, starting or scaling? Or are they just completely incomparable? They're, they're pretty different beasts. It's, it's a little bit like comparing chewing and walking. The two are human functions, but they're, they, they're not the same parts of the brain are responsible. Does, if a person has an... Maybe, maybe they are. I'm not a, not a biologist, having said. Um, the, would a, a person who's starting a company, um, would they benefit from having the experience of having grown a company? Do they start a company yes. differently? Um, I'm not sure they would start a company differently because it is a very different beast. The thing that's important is having the muscle memory of saying, all right, we are now going to stop trying to just get as many users as possible and prove our point and actually start having controls and paying attention to things like budgeting and procurement and, you know, filing a patent every week because that builds up your core value to choose a really random example is very, very expensive. At some point you have to flip around and say, we're not going to file any more patents or the other round say, we're not going to try to protect any of this stuff because we don't know if it's worth protecting. And suddenly now you have to find a law firm to file patents for it. I mean, all those decisions are pretty different. Having done both, it's valuable to have experience in scaling a company. Starting a company is almost by definition different every time, so it's probably a lower barrier to entry. So, uh, I, someone who's been through the scale-up process, who then goes back into the startup process, will do it a little bit differently? Yes. Have a different mindset? Um, I think so. Qualified. But I, th I think it's heavily qualified. My passion is in starting companies. As I grow older and see this enough times, or ha having seen this process enough times, I actually find a certain enjoyable cadence to scaling a company as well. So the reason I go back to starting companies every few years is because I just love the, literally the, you know, breaking down boxes from Ikea and building desks with my bare hands, that, that's exciting. That only lasts for about a year or two, and then you're either running a, a going concern or I'm looking for the next thing. And uh, as much as I enjoy building Ikea desks, going concern is, is, is pretty fun too. Great, thank you.